What's the scope of an infidelity polygraph test? Well, normally when we do polygraph tests of an infidelity polygraph test, what's going to be measured is if during a relationship there was some kind of infidelity behavior. Now, that being said, within that goal, there might be some differences and nuances. Now, the two elements or the two variables that we're going to take into account that are important during a, an infidelity polygraph test are the time of reference and infidelity actions. Now, the time of reference is important. Why? Because we need to know what is the period, what is the time that we're going to take into account to test an infidelity. For example, should we test infidelity since the start of the relationship? Since they got engaged? Since the couple got married? And sometimes there might be some periods in the relationship where the couple is apart, is separated, and they don't want to take those periods into account. So that needs to be taken into consideration too. So it's very important that we know all these facts. And then infidelity actions. Now infidelity actions can be very different. Basically it depends on the definition that you give to the word fidelity or infidelity. Now for example you can imagine that the more liberal couple might see fidelity or infidelity in a different light than a more traditional couple. A liberal couple might accept extramarital relationships while a more traditional couple would be very much more conservative in that aspect. There are also cases where, for example, some, something happened but the infidelity, infidelity was not consummated. For example, some messages were exchanged, there were some encounters, some meetings, they, some dates maybe. Or maybe, who knows, that was actually a kiss, but it didn't go further than that. There wasn't really no full, complete sexual relationship. And a person wants to prove that, or the other person wants to know if that's really the only thing that happened. On the other side, there's also a possibility that there actually there was an infidelity. And one part of the couple accepts that infidelity and the other part confesses that infidelity. The counterpart wants to go further, wants to give it a second chance in the relationship, but wants to know if everything that the other person told him or her is true. Or is there anything else that that person hasn't told him or her? So a test then is performed to see if the confessing person has been completely truthful about what happened and that that relationship is something from the past, that there are no more contacts. So that's why then a polygraph test is done. So normally in a polygraph test, infidelity polygraph test, what we're going to measure, the actions, infidelity actions that are going to be measured are, number one, was there any kind of infidelity? Was there, was there an intent of infidelity or was an infidelity consummated? Number two, if something happened, what, to what degree did it happen? Is the person now being truthful about everything that happened? Or is that person still hiding information that could be, or that could go in, uh, uh, against the trust of the other person? And number three, maybe, if there was an infidelity, is that in the past? Or is the person still keeping contact, having contact with that person or those persons? As explained, Every polygraph test is different. Now, what is important for you to understand when doing or wanting to do an infidelity polygraph test, don't think in questions. Think about explaining the polygraph examiner what you want to know, what happened and what you want to know, what you want to be, make sure that 
doesn't go through or doesn't happen anymore or you want to make sure that you're really having all the information that you need so that you can again trust that person there are two things that you need to remember first of all what's the time of reference and number two the infidelity actions that you want to be t that you want to test okay i hope this answered your question but if you, if you have another question or you have another doubt why don't you visit or look or take a look at the other videos we have on this playlist that might actually answer maybe another doubt another question you might have and if not if you can't find the answer to your question please send us an email and we will reply to you as soon as we can just a little message before you go and watch some other video if you want to be updated about our most recent videos we upload the questions we answer or the opinions we might have about our industry subscribe and you will be the first one to be informed about our latest videos our most recent opinion subscribe have you okay don't lie to me don't lie to me should i take out the polygraph oh okay okay subscribe